it is a real special day for us. These things are risky. Uh, we found out some good ways over the years that we can help them make, make them more successful, but uh, there's just, we run into just about anything you can imagine under the ground, and, and so we would feel really good when we put, a, put together the kind of effort we put forth with the contractor and we're able to make it successful. It's a, there's not a better feeling. The original tunnel that was put in 1910 was hand mined underneath here. And uh, we just, we don't do hand mining because it's, it's, it's inevitably very dangerous kind of work. And so we use the tunnel machines that are remote controlled so we don't endanger the workers. And the uh, ground conditions here are very complex geologically. They're very, a lot of fine grained sands and high water tables and aquifers and, and different kinds of uh, geotechnical conditions that make this a real challenging project. We have to cross a, uh, a navigable waterway that we, there's no way that we can, uh, if we get stuck with a tunneling machine, there's no way that we could go out into the middle of the canal and, and excavate it out of there. So it was real important that we get through without, uh, without fail. It's like we found a shoe that came through the tunnel machine and, uh, and some bottles and uh, a few pieces of copper pipe and some other strange pieces of whatnot. And, uh, we don't know how they got down there because the canal was dug in the early 1900s and this stuff was 60s, 1960s vintage. So we're at a loss on how it, because uh, we're 20 feet below the canal, so it wasn't stuff that got dropped off of a ship. So we just, we're, we're at a loss as to, to where that stuff came from. And uh, it's gonna look well worn when it, when it get, comes out, but it'll still, if you give it a good bath and do a little bit of retro work to it, she'll be as good as new.